Hello and welcome. Today we are going to be experimenting with the effects of helium on the playing of a trumpet. So what I have here is a tank full of helium, well tank nearly empty of helium and I've connected a tube up to the output here um, and I'm going to stick this into, my, into the side of my mouth whilst I try and play. It's not going to be a particularly effective arrangement because this is uh, just sort of party helium and you don't actually activate it by the twisting of, of this valve up here. The way that you get the helium to come out is by sort of playing with this sort of sausage here. You give this a, a tug and helium comes out the end. What I'm going to try and do with this trumpet is to hold a straight long note. I'm not going to try and change the note or do anything like that. I'm just going to play a note, straight note, and activate the helium and see what effect that has. As you can tell uh, from listening to that, if you have the helium flowing through the tube, uh, it goes through the instrument and it raises the tone. So why does this happen? Well, helium is less dense than air. If you were to get a balloon full of air and then a balloon full of helium, the balloon full of air weighs more. And because helium is less dense, what that means is that the energy that you put into the instrument uh, is able to travel through the instrument with less effort. So if you imagine uh, the difference is sort of like trying to run outside of a pool and trying to run in a pool. If you're trying to run whilst being inside a swimming pool, it's a lot of effort. The, the energy that it takes to go from here to here uh, is a lot more than the energy it takes to go the same distance when you're out of a pool. And it's kind of the same philosophy for the vibrations through your instrument when that instrument is on helium versus air. So now that we've confirmed that the reality matches the principle that we we're testing, we can see what happens if we try to play on it. So instead of trying to articulate uh, whilst I've got this tube in my mouth, what I might try and do is take a big huff of helium uh, and then try and play. Now helium is not something you should inhale regularly. Most things shouldn't be inhaled unless they're sort of air related. Um, so if you're going to do something like this, I advise you take the proper safety precautions. I don't happen to know what the proper safety precautions are, but I do have my wife on speed dial, so that's sort of enough. I've also got a fire extinguisher over there, although I'm not anticipating anything to catch fire. Uh, so let's see what happens. 